Okay, Steve, what are you thinking? Um, I am thinking that this didn't quite go the way we thought it would go again. Well, good evening. It is a Thursday evening, and I'm out with two photographers, Steve. Say, hey, Steve. Hi, Steve. <laughs> and you know this guy behind me here, too, Raymond Huddleston. He's a, a more wildlife photographer than landscape photographer, but uh, we're teaching him all the, the landscape things. We're going to attempt full moon pictures tonight, and it's supposed to rise behind this hillside here. Uh, we're on a buddy's farm, but the thing that's got us baffled is the moon really won't clear this hillside till we think after nine. We may have to do a double exposure type uh, image. We're going to have to guess where the moon's going to be using the AR on photo pills and go from there. But I'm going to, I think I'm going to pull out my drone and fly a little bit. Got him a, a newer lens. The uh, what is it again? 180 to 600. 180 to 600. He uh, that's a nice rig. He's also shooting a mirrorless camera, the Nikon uh, Z8. Oh, you got to change the whole head around. Oh, gear head. Okay. You check out Raymond's T-shirt there. <laughs> Everybody needs one of these. Yeah, that's right. This is a gearhead. I'm wanting to get me one. It's ideal for landscape. Oh, he's already over here working a composition. Let me get over there. Let me turn this around again so you can see this beautiful area we're looking at. Uh, flowers are moving a little bit, Steve. Don't tell them stuff like that. Barely. <laughs> but we're getting some nice lighting right now. Okay, Steve. As usual, what's your preconceived idea? Um, well, as usual, I guess what we thought was going to happen isn't quite happening. We're not masters of photo pills just yet. Uh, but we think we have where our camera's pointed in the right direction, although... Because we're using such uh, you know, 300 millimeter, I, well, you guys might even have more than that, 600, 600. millimeter. 600. Uh, you're really zoomed in, and so you really got to get that exact spot where the moon comes up, and we're not sure. And so the plan, I think, is that we've taken a foreground photo now, because uh, there's light out. We thought we'd get here, and the sun would set just as the moon's coming up, like a little teeter-totter thing, and we would have some lit land and the moon and the sun going down. Sun's behind the trees, the land's not going to be lit too much longer, and we think we still have an hour before the moon comes up. And so it's going to be dark by the time we're shooting the moon. So we shot a scene in front of us and um, the moon comes up, we'll get a shot of that, and then we'll have to artfully blend the two as opposed to having the one. So we had a plan, now we're in plan B. And for all I know, an hour from now, we'll be on plan C, <laughs> and uh, well, we'll see what goes on from there. What's that bird up there? Crane? Oh, yeah. Um, heron? It's a heron. Yeah, it is. 
but uh, that hillside way over there the moon should come up someplace in that area worst case scenario we uh, once the moon comes up we may try to see how it lights up this landscape in front of us oh, yeah worst case scenario cool. but uh, Raymond's got his the big boy out here I've got my 500 and my camera just did something what I just shut off okay Steve what are you thinking um I am thinking that this didn't quite go the way we thought it would go again uh the settings that I got from the video didn't come anywhere near close to to working so I had to start playing which is fine uh that's part of the fun is playing with it and I think you said it pretty well it's going to take a lot of Lightroom magic to make this turn out if it's at all possible so a learning situation when we got the moon coming up um <laughs> but there's something about hills and valleys i don't know it throws us off throws we need to be off. out in the desert i don't know if you'll be able to see this on my camera but raymond got a good one on the back of his camera uh but i can zoom in and focus i use manual focus it didn't last very long and we were off or i should say photo pills was off steve were you in the right spot i was but i don't have as much uh, zoom power as you guys yeah I was at 300 at the most so. i should have uh well no it wouldn't have worked i was gonna